recording and welcome to another Brain Snacks. Now, um, this is actually a Bibix Brain Snacks and uh, for those of you who are new, Brain Snacks are actually bite-sized answers to questions that can give you food for thought. Now, uh, today's uh, Brain Snacks uh, focuses on a Bibix topic, so business in a box. And uh, the question is, how often should you check your email and your social media? Okay, well, I'll go ahead and give my perspective on this or my advice on this. But first, a word from our sponsor. And uh, we are actually self-sponsored. This has actually all been made possible through the Dynexum Project. Now, if you are wanting to learn how to become self-sponsored on your own as well, or if you'd like to own your own business, or if you just want to get cash back, the Dynexum Project is actually right for you. 200,000 plus people have actually already attempted and succeeded in owning their own business. So come join the fun. Can't be wrong. All right. So I uh, get this question often of how often you should check your email and social media from business owners because typically there's a feeling of being overwhelmed with checking emails and social media when they're in a business especially when they're uh, self-employed or in a business for themselves. Um, there's even also a negative stigma associated with uh, social media and uh, checking your email because they feel it's just a distraction and it's not really related to your business. Most of the time, though, social media can actually bring you a lot of potential clients and business you wouldn't get otherwise by, let's say, just uh, in addition to word of mouth or just doing traditional advertising. So for those of you who would like to use that tool of social media and your email to help you with your business, I would say the key to not being overwhelmed is scheduling when to check your, your email and your social media and to stick with that schedule. Yes, you have to set a schedule, but you have to stick with, with it. So that means setting aside a time to do on a consistent basis. This could be daily weekly weekends couple hours every evening every morning it doesn't matter as long as you find the time frame that works and you stick with that time frame a lot of people have said well i don't know what time frame works so that's when i tell them try out a time frame for a few weeks see if it works and if it really doesn't work if you're really really still struggling switch the time frame but i would say also to help you out also when you're setting that schedule of when to check your social media and your email so once again Set a scheduled time to check on it and be consistent. Also, set the expectation. By that, I mean set the expectation with your colleagues and your clients on when you check your email and social media. This is so that they know when to expect an answer. Um, a lot of business owners feel overwhelmed by potential clients and partners and colleagues. But if you set that expectation and you stick with it, eventually you'll, well, you'll get the message across that you only check your email and social media at certain times and people will eventually fall in line and learn to expect that as well. So the key here, once again, set it aside a scheduled time to check it, stick with the schedule, be consistent and set the expectation with your clients and your coworkers and your colleagues of when you're going to check your social media and email and consistently answer back at that time frame. Remember, you want to see your email and your social media outlets as tools to help you expand your business, not a catalyst to stress you out. All right, so for a more in-depth look on this topic and other business-related topics, you can visit bibix.nsa6.com. Now, do you have your own tips on how you can manage your email and your social media for business? Please comment below. We'd love to find out. Until next time, though, this is L1, and this has been another Brain Snacks, and uh, thanks for listening. Really love you guys.